We all know that the Second Avenue businesses are struggling today, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Thousands of people in Manhattan and the Bronx are seeing brown when they turn on the tap. City Councilman Dan Garodnik contacted the DEP about the problem last month. The, the DEP has totally um, failed to communicate with New Yorkers about what exactly is going on. Overcrowding on the Lexington Avenue line is leaving strap hangers stranded on the platform. This is a subway line that, that is at its breaking point. The Lexington line is so overwhelmed that it becomes unpredictable and unreliable for passengers. A bill is being proposed to give the Department of Consumer Affairs the power to license and supervise debt collectors. We want to make sure that there's an orderly process, that people who owe their debts pay them but that they're not subject to menacing and the sorts of harassing circumstances that we've seen. Tenants of Stuyvesant Town and Peter Cooper Village are applauding a landmark court ruling that could affect landlords throughout the city. The court made it very clear that the DHCR had it wrong and that for all of these years there has been an error and that error is now going to be corrected. That could mean monetary damages or even rent rollbacks. They've been overcharged for a long time, many of them for, for years uh, since uh, 2001. Uh, this money is now going to be protected for them.